Topaz, are you ready for a brand new home? Today, I am going to build Topaz, my blue tongue skink, a brand new home. You could use this enclosure for a variety of different reptile species, so not just blue tongue skinks, you could use it for ball pythons, bearded dragons, whatever you guys have. So check it out, this is gonna be a great inexpensive option. Rather than going out to the pet store and spending hundreds, you can make something that looks even nicer than something you can get at a pet store. Here we go! So I picked up these one by three by eights at Lowe's. They were $2.18 each. And I'm using this for the frame of my lizard enclosure. You could also use two by fours, although I feel like the one by three by eights are gonna be a lot lighter and I think it's personally going to look nicer. I got some L brackets and some screws. These were around about three bucks a piece. And I'm gonna use these to put together my frame. By far the most expensive part of this project is going to be these pieces of plexiglass. These were $29.98 a piece. So around 60 bucks for or the plexiglass, but honestly, I think this looks nice. I prefer plexi over actual glass. Glass is a lot more fragile, and I feel like plexi like this is a lot more durable, especially for reptile enclosures. As you can see, we are going to be able to slide, you guys see that? Slide open the doors of the lizard enclosure. To open up the plexi doors, I need like a little door handle, so I got these little knobs for $2.78 a piece and we're gonna literally drill a hole through the plexi and then I'll be able to open the exhibit and be able to clean and get topaz. So I'm going to be making the exhibit four feet long and this is gonna be really easy because these come in eight foot sizes so I'm literally just cutting these in half so this is a great easy measurement and it's gonna be easy to kind of keep account of. Four foot is plenty big for a blue tongue skink, a bearded dragon, ball python, and any smaller lizards that you get. So it's gonna be pretty good. Here we go. By the way, I want you guys to know I'm in my dad's shop building this. And once again, his shop is a complete disaster and he's a fan of, uh, you know, $10 half gallons of booze. Not mine. Just saying, don't drink and do construction. Please don't, or you might lose a toe or a hand or your life. gonna make this about two feet wide. Woo! So I got my four foot sections and I'm going to put them together using the L brackets and the screws. So we're gonna make the enclosure four feet long by two foot wide. This is plenty of room. I always like kind of putting the wood out before I actually start drilling to get an idea of the actual frame. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill these holes. It'll make it a lot easier and so the wood will not split. I'm gonna use my other drill to put the screw in just to kind of tie down what I uh, just pre-drilled. Like that. Ta-da! Now this is kind of held in place. I'll go back and drill my other hole. So I have all my L brackets screwed in. As you can see, no cracks, knock on wood, haha. <laughs> Frame one is now complete. All right, you guys, my dad's helping me out now. Dad, say hello to the YouTube people. Hello, YouTube people. How long have you uh, been building lizard cages, Dad? Since you're about two years old. Okay, perfect. So let's do the quick math. Tw 28. 28 years? <laughs> all right. Here we go. All right, let's, let's, do, it. let's, do, it. let's do it. Let's do it. Both frames are now done, top and the bottom. All right, we have this piece of board laying around that we're gonna use for the lizard exhibit. This piece will go for about 25, 30 bucks, a little more expensive. I like it better than OSB because I think it looks nicer, a little more durable. So now we're just gonna simply etch the bottom for our measurement. So we have the bottom cut out. We're gonna put it on top of our frame. And then, as we did with the L brackets, we are going to pre-drill. That way, we don't crack our wood. The holes are pre-drilled. We are gonna use these screws we got. So, Dad. Dad, we have to let the people know. Okay, so you can get a small container of screws, I'd say for like, what, four bucks, five bucks? Six bucks, five, six bucks. Five, six bucks. All right, They're here we go. Inch. They're one inches. So next step, what we're gonna do is we have our plexi here. You see we have our bottom screwed in. We are going to cut a piece of wood to fit from here to there. That way we are able to slide the plexi like that for our doors. Here we go. 
so we're going to be able to slide our plexiglass like this to open the doors of the exhibit. These measure 14 and a half. We cut four of them, you know, you guys get it, all four sides. Cutting the sides. First wall is up. Coming together. Side walls are now up. We put the second frame on top, so now we're just kind of bolting this down. It's starting to look like a lizard enclosure. We had to be creative because we only had one sheet, but luckily we're able to sketch this diagonally. I think she's gonna work. All right, about to cut the back end. Oh, can't stretch that far. Bottom is now complete. So we have the back. The back is now secure. It's coming together. Topaz is going to love this. Putting it in. Woo! All right. Look at these glass doors. They look so nice. Be careful. There's some scratches you can't really see, but when you are putting inside the plexi, don't do what we did and scratch it. The inside of the frame is finished on the sides. This just provides more support. We're using a drill to go through the plexi. Everyone say a prayer. You wanna know something, son of a bitch? Okay, this is the kids' channel. Oh. First knob is installed, you guys. Look at that. Oh, it's just like a dream. This is so awesome. I am gonna build the lid, that's all we need, because of course the lid is, as you can imagine, pretty important. So I have my screen right here, also called hardware cloth, and that is 36 inches, so three feet, which should fit just really nice. And we're gonna use our remaining boards that we purchased. We're going to build a frame for the lid, put the screen on, attach the hinges, and then ladies and gentlemen, our lizard enclosure will be finished. So I have my frame for the lid. We're gonna use these flat L brackets. This cost, well actually we already had these, but you can find them at the store for about like four bucks. And we need four of those to put our lid together. To so the moment of truth, my frame fits. Definitely double check this before you actually start installing the screens. I am going to install the screen. I'm just gonna use a hammer. And then we had these poultry staples laying around. I feel like if you live on a farm or in the country, you always have these around. You can pick up a small box for five bucks at the local hardware store. I am so proud of my screen lid. Look at this. This is pretty much indestructible. Well, I mean it is, and you know what I mean. Anyway, this is a nice heavy duty lid. This is gonna prevent the lizards from escaping. I just drilled my holes and I'm attaching the hinges to the lid. Here we go. The moment of truth. I just attached my hinges to my lizard cage. Let's see if she works. Look at that. She works. If you do have a snake though, you're gonna wanna put a latch right here. I'm gonna choose not to put a latch just cause, well, Topaz is, is not gonna escape. Now it's time to put Topaz, the blue tongue skink in. Look at that, how does she look? Oh my gosh, I think it looks so good. Topaz is gonna love it. Some plants, some more plants. You ready to go in your new home, dude? Check it out. He loves his new home. But look at that. You're so cool, Mr. T. Good lizard. Until next time.